So I've been seeing a lot of questions online about the new Viltrox EF EOS M2 speed booster uh, and whether or not it will accept the Canon um, crop sensor lenses, the EFS lens mount. And um, I have the Viltrox now and I also have the Canon adapter and the answer is that no, uh, it will not accept the EFS lens mount. And it's pretty easy to see why. Um, first clue is, uh, if you look at the Canon adapter, and of course the Canon lens adapter, there is, no, there is no glass in it. It's simply an adapter. And there's a red dot and there's a white dot where the Viltrox speed booster has just the red dot. And as we all know with Canon lenses, there's a red dot on the uh, full frame lenses, the EF mount lenses. And on the EFS mount lenses, the crop sensor lenses, there's a white dot. And, of course, we line up those dots on our, on our uh, camera frame, and that's how we, um, how we uh, align them be before they're, um, they're screwed down. I can take either of these lenses and successfully mount them on the Canon adapter, and they work just fine. However, I can only put the full-frame lens, the red dot lens, on the Vilt. Uh, truck speed booster. You can see too that the Canon adapter is a bit thicker than the Viltrox. The Viltrox is uh, thinner and it of course it has glass in it and the problem is although these two mounts the metal part of these two lens mounts are identical the crop factor or the crop sensor lens has a extra piece right here it's a plastic piece and it sticks out beyond the metal uh, mount. The EF lens, the full frame lens, does not have that. If you try to put this on the Viltrox, that extra extrusion conflicts with the, um, with the glass uh, on the Viltrox. And I assume there's a reason why this thickness is different. It probably makes sense based on, on the, uh, the glass uh, layout, what the lens is doing whatever that magic is that uh, Viltrox has figured out. So unfortunately, it does not work with the EFS, the uh, crop sensor lenses. It is, however, and I'm a bit um, uh, disappointed because I have many more EFS lenses than I have full-frame lenses, but it is magic when you hook it up to the, um, like the Nifty 50 here, and mine's a, a 1.8, and all of a sudden it does in fact become a 1.2. And uh, with all the benefits of that, and also the, of course, the, uh, the um, field of view changes as well. So it's still a valuable accessory. And as I'm looking at lenses, uh, I may tend to buy more uh, full frame lenses to take advantage of that. But the reality is, and it's unfortunate, it will not accept the EFS lenses.